Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 4th of March 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, create your future and transform your present. Remember why you are here, raise your consciousness, step out of that spiritual closet to become the person who you were truly meant to be in this lifetime, stepping fully onto your path of knowing your life purpose. Now, this week we're going to be using the art through the eyes of the Soul Oracle um, by Cheryl Rambrack Rose. But as always, before we get into this week's uh, card reading, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And of course, I am running the Angelic Craiky 1 and 2 workshop on the 16th and 17th of March. There's still a couple of spaces left if you would like to join this um, select group. I'm a, I keep it to four people, Max, um, where you can actually find a deeper connection with the angelic realms, with the angels, maybe find out gifts and talents about yourself, do some healing um, on yourself, receive healing, give healing, um, learn about the angelic kingdom and so much more that will help you with your everyday life um, and going through um, each stage of your life um, every day. So do check out the link. And I've even written a little story in a post um, about uh, Angelic Reiki. So do check that out. I'll put the link in there as well um, to that. So as always, I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So... What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good for week commencing the 4th of March 2024? Okay, what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good for week commencing the 4th of March 2024? Okay, so we had a card that decided it was going to come out for us. And let's see what the other cards we've got are. Okay, so we have got... Accept the opportunity that is offered. We have got weave your own destiny. And visualize healing. Aren't they beautiful cards? So what the um, angels of the universe, the cards are saying for you this week is there any opportunities that come your way that can help you on your path, can actually help you move forward um, to help other people, as I said, help yourself, move yourself forward in life, take those opportunities. You know, they're gonna be coming to you this week. Just be open to them, um, you know, look out for them, know they are coming. And when they do come in, actually take them. Don't procrastinate about it and think, oh, well, maybe if what, do it, you know, if you've got these opportunities that can help move you forward in your life, bring more abundance, love, joy, then why not take them? You know, they're there for the offering. You know, we weave our own destiny. And when these opportunities come up, we have the chance to take them to, you know, create our destiny, to create our life, to weave that tapestry of life that we want, the story that we want, the outcomes that we want the abundance, the love, the joy, the happiness, the peace in the world that we want. So this week really is about weaving those dreams, stepping into the realm of possibilities, the realm of what if, and start doing it with those opportunities and allow this week to bring healing into you as well. Because when you're healing, that also helps you weave your ideal life. It helps you be more aware of those opportunities that come in around you. So take the time this week to do some healing on yourself, whether that's through guided meditation, self-healing, people like myself, um, you know, who offer healing. This really is a week for you to actually do that healing on whatever level feels right, right for you. Um, so, you know, do take that opportunity, that chance to do that this week um, because Things are coming in place to allow you to do this. But again, you have to be open and aware and look out for them so that you can weave your dream. 
So really, these are so straightforward cards this week, so, so straightforward that I really don't need to go any more into them. Um, so as always, this is my interpretation of the cards and you may get a completely different interpretation. That's absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. So if you do um, get a different interpretation or one card speaks more than the other, you know, then go with that and do let me know. You know, I always reply to anyone who comments publicly or privately to me. And I love hearing your thoughts, um, you know, about the cards and your journey with them. So the cards again are accept the opportunity that is offered. And this is the Glastonbury Goddess. So whatever opportunities come up this week, take them. They are there for you. You know, that doorway is open for you to go through. Weave your own destiny. Arindra and the Stella Will, you know, you can weave your own destiny. You can create your own life. Just start weaving that tapestry, that web. Look out for the opportunities. And the burning of the sage, visualize healing. Take the time this week to heal, whether that's personally in a group setting or using the services of someone like myself. You know, there are so many healers out there that want to help you. Um, and, you know, and healing, although, you know, you come to me for the healing, it's actually you that doing that does the healing. You know, it's like with Angelic Kraki, I facilitate the angels coming in to help you do the healing on, on whatever level needs to be healed for you needs to be healed for you. So yeah, that's the cards for this week, straightforward. Um, and these cards actually, and I didn't realise till I've just chosen them, time very nicely with my guest on this week's show, Angels and Destiny, which if you're watching this on Sunday, is taking place on Monday the 4th at 8pm UK time. If you're watching this on Monday, then it's happening this evening. And if you're watching this later in the week, then watch the replay. You're not going to want to miss this. I have got the beautiful Elizabeth Bacoffey um, on my show. She is a wonderful storyteller and she's actually going to be talking about Arthur, Merlin, the round table. Um, you know, Guinevere is in there. There's so much um, that we can learn from those stories. Um, and maybe things that you didn't even know about the Arthurian legend and how it can actually help you on your journey to fulfill your to fulfill your purpose in this lifetime. So do watch the show. It is absolutely going to be amazing. She, as I said, she is a brilliant storyteller. And of course, do check out my Angelic Craigie uh, one and two workshop. You know, you can just do the one and two workshop for yourself. You can go and do three and four. Or you can even go on to do practitioners or master teacher if you so wish, but you don't have to. You can just do Angelic Craigie 1 and 2, which will be of real benefit to you and help you on your healing, on your journey, on connecting with the angels and getting to know yourself better. So have a wonderful week and I look forward to speaking to you next week. Take care. Bye.